Hi, my name is Zakaran, and welcome to my video and podcast, Money and Spirituality, Part 1, How to Be a Happy, Successful, and Free Hippiepreneur, and how you can break free from the shackles of financial judgment and financial ignorance and see money and business for what it really is, which is a game, and see that money is just a tool in that game, and you can play the game of money how you want to, however you want to, and make your own rules in that game. And you not only don't have to sell your soul to achieve financial freedom, but you can actually be very happy and generous and live a very empowered and fulfilling life where you're able to do a lot, uh, help a lot of people improve the quality of their lives. Yes, because you have the finances to spend towards philanthropic endeavors, but most of all because you can educate other people on how to improve the quality of their lives by becoming financially educated and empowered themselves so that they can learn how to have fun playing the game of money and business. So enjoy my video and podcast. Hi, my name is Zakaiwin and I help success-minded entrepreneurs achieve a success mindset to propel your life and your business and your relationships Two, unlimited heights of success to achieve the joy and freedom you desire. Uh, if you like this video, please share it with your friends. Bless them with these amazing teachings. Come visit me at zakiron.com uh, for lots of self-empowering goodies to help you become a conscious, deliberate creator of reality. All right, here we go. Money and spirituality, how to be a happy, successful, and free hippiepreneur. I've worked for myself and had my own businesses my entire life. I've always been relatively unemployable because I've always had a mind of my own. And I love my freedom way too much to settle for the 9 to 5 grind. And I've always wanted more financially than what typical employment can offer. And for 30 years I worked hard to merge spirituality with money and business because I believe that Money and spirituality are not contrary or opposing forces because everything is spirit. Everything is vibrational. Everything comes from spirit. And we're all meant to be happy and free. And that means free financially as well. And ironically, to become financially free requires a great deal of spiritual growth. Something that most people are afraid of because they must step into their power and leave behind the old world and old patterns of limitation that were taught to them and believed by their tribe. So what about freedom? How, what is freedom? The essence of the hippie movement of the 60s was 100% about freedom. Freedom to think of uh, you know, how each person wants to think and live how each individual wants to live without guilt and shame. But unless you can somehow live completely off the grid, out in the bush, or in the mountains, or in the savannah, you need money to not only survive, but more importantly, to thrive and even be free. So how can you live within the doggy dog financial system of today and not get eaten up and without having to sell your soul to the proverbial devil? The answer is, as per the great financial guide, uh, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, you must get to the business and investor side of the cash flow quadrant. That is the quadrant where the freedom that the hippies and every spiritually oriented person desires to get to. But most people have no clue how to get to the business and investor side of the cash flow quadrant because we've all been trained to be employees and peasants, not landowners and business owners and investors. In fact, we've often been taught by our envious parents, teachers, relatives, friends, and clergy that money and wealth and business people are all evil and that it is somehow more spiritual to be poor, which I believe is complete and utter poppycock. Instead of making money and wealth the enemy, instead of making wealth, uh, wealthy people the enemy, instead of trying to make everything fair so that the poor can get their fair share of the pie 
we should understand that money is just a game and money is just a tool. Nothing more and nothing less. Money is not good or evil. It's just money. It's not money that abuses people or the environment or exploits people. It is people who use money to exploit people in the environment. Just like guns don't kill, people do. The key ingredient here is power. Not the power to control resources or other people. That is not power. That is fear. Only people who believe in limitation and believe in the fear of loss, that they could lose their money or lose their freedom, etc., those are the fearful controllers. But again, that is not power, because people who act like dickheads feel powerless, not powerful. And they try to control resources, money, people, and governments, etc., so that they can feel powerful and in control. But real power comes from the knowledge an awareness that you can cre can create anything, not control things outside of you. And I mean anything. They can create anything. You can create anything. That means you can create money and businesses and products and art and music and films and cutting edge technologies and protect the environment, etc., etc. But you can't have an adversarial relationship with money if you want to create those things in your life. You can't have a holier-than-thou attitude about wealth and business. You can't be judge and jury about what other people are doing with money. You've got to mind your own business and become a hippiepreneur. And you got to get over this poor me victim attitude that most people have that the game is rigged and unfair and the poor get poorer and the rich get richer because it's all a financial conspiracy, etc. That's all complete bullshit. The only conspiracy is that the law of attraction is completely fair across the board. It's conspiring for you or against you depending on where you're focused. It's giving you whatever you want, positive or negative. So the law of attraction is completely fair across the board and money and wealth and opportunities and resources, etc. will always flow to whoever is focused and allowing of those things to flow to them. You can't judge corporations and governments and wealthy people and, and judge money, etc., and expect money and wealth to flow to you. You can't bitch and moan about the system being unfair and allow money and wealth to flow to you at the same time. They are opposing vibrations. The more people fight for, quote, fairness, unquote, the less freedom they will have. Because to create fairness, you must impose control upon the people who have more to give to people who have less, which is communism. And we all know that doesn't work, because people will always choose freedom over fairness any day. There's no such thing as fairness in the world of form and money and commerce or relationships for that matter or anything in life because the rules of fairness are subjective and one person's belief about what is fair is different to someone else's belief about what is fair. If you're poor and believe it is, it is the duty of the rich to pay your way and you believe it is fair... Well, imagine yourself being the person who is rich and you are forced by society to give all your money away to the poor, which would now make you poor. Well, you might not think that that is very fair, especially if you've worked hard for that money. The only thing truly fair on earth and in this universe is the law of attraction, which states that that which is like and done to itself is drawn, or whatever you're focused upon, you will get more of. Whether that's good or bad, you'll get more of it. If you're focused on being rich and you're allowing the flow of riches, you'll be rich regardless of the economy or governments or what anyone else is doing on planet Earth. And reciprocally, if you're focused on how virtuous and pious it is to be poor and how evil it is to be rich, then it is guaranteed that the law of attraction will fairly ensure that you remain poor. There is no 
alleged global conspiracy to control all the wealth, because even though there are people who are conspiring to control all the wealth, because they feel powerless and helpless and fearful of losing control, and the law of attraction doesn't care. Regardless of who and what game anyone else is playing, you have the creative power to create your own game and to make your own rules for that game. And it is a complete waste of your creative power to pay any attention to what anyone else is doing on planet Earth with money or resources or the environment or politics or commerce, etc. The law of attraction only cares what you think in regards to your life and your reality. Of course, you have the choice to try to throw the entire world into your creation soup, but you do not have any creative control whatsoever what anyone else thinks, says, or does. And you're wasting your creative energy trying to control them. Stop trying to change your external reality so that you can feel better. That's way too big of a job. No one wants to change for you to make you happy, and it's not their job to do so anyway. It's your job to make you happy. It's no one else's job to make you rich or anything else that's, that you desire. That's your job. It's not God's job or religion's job or the government's job or the police's job or your spouse's job or your parents' job or your children's job or the corporation's jobs, or the economy's job, etc., etc., to make you happy, or feel secure, or wealthy, or safe, or free, or to give you anything you desire. That's your job and your job alone. And it's no one else's job to educate you how to step into your power and how to become financially free either. So being angry at the educational system is another waste of your powerful creative energy. It is no one else's job to educate you about anything. That's your job and yours alone. And all the education you need to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and spiritually enlightened is all available to you on the internet right now and from the countless success, business, health, spirit, and spiritual teachers that are out there like Abraham, Robert Kiyosaki, Tony Robbins, T. Harbecker, etc. to teach yourself how to achieve the freedom you desire. And I'm here to guide and support you to achieve the freedom you desire. And I'm here to help you step fully into your power to create the money, the wealth, the health, the love, and freedom you desire by offering you a free guidance and coaching session to get you on track to creating your desires. As well as ongoing coaching and support to help you quickly and easily, first off, become happy. And then from, uh, from being happy... You can create literally anything you desire to be, do, have in your life. I can help you succeed faster and easier at what you're, you're currently doing, but also help you create a life that you more than likely desire, which is one of complete financial freedom. I'll coach you like any great athletic coach to help you cross that line and win the gold medal, which is freedom. The freedom to do what you want whenever you want. So if you'd like to improve the quality of your life, have more freedom and spend time, have the time, the time freedom to spend with your lover and your children, your family, your friends, your spouse, uh, then let's make that happen. Go to freesession.info and register for a free $97 no obligation uh, valued uh, session and let's help you become a hippiepreneur to accomplish the dreams you have come to this earth to accomplish and help you have more fun, more freedom, more fulfillment in your life. That's freesession.info. I look forward to meeting you and playing with you and helping you make your dreams come true. And together we can improve the quality of, lit of literally millions of people's lives and improve the quality of life on planet Earth. That's freesession.info. I look forward to hearing from you. I also hope to see you on video number two of Money and Spirituality, How to Be a Successful entrepreneur to take you to the next level. So my name is Zakyron. Thanks for watching this video. Please share it with your friends uh, and bless them with these amazing teachings. Come visit me at zakyron.com for more self-empowering goodies. Uh, go get yourself a free copy of my Top 10 Secrets of Success at TomTedSecrets.info. And thanks again for watching this video, listening to this podcast, and I wish you immense joy and abundance on your magnificent journey of divine creation. And remember to make life a holiday 